it's weird in New York. It felt like everybody you knew was in the film, so it wasn't. It wasn't like uh, you weren't talking to too many people outside of that world, even after the film. You know, we kind of all went back to doing just what we were doing before it. And so, um, you know, it's, it's only until later that you kind of notice, like I would get a lot of, uh, I went back to work in a skateboard shop and I would get a lot of like threatening calls and weird things like this, but. I you, would get a lot of tearful hugs on the street. Yeah, <laughs> you just, you know. Um, but I get quoted my lines a lot, which is a bit awkward depending on where you are. I'm like, we're in Disneyland. I get a lot. What I find Please, is you know, your really voice. disturbing. People are like, don't worry, Jenny, it's me, Casper. <laughs> so the, the one thing I think, <clears throat> the one thing I noticed that is a little weird is... Uh, how many kids I run into to this day that say, oh, that's the movie I moved to New York because of. And you're like, well, you know, it's kind of like a cautionary tale. Uh, so that's, that's interesting. Like, I mean, kids still talk about, like, you know, these are young kids who have their own scenes and, and maybe style-wise or other ways it, it seems dated, but it still resonates with, with teenagers somehow. And like, uh, it, it's... It's to me, it's strange that it still it still holds up twenty years later. I think that's that's great, um, but uh, I wish I could see it with fresh eyes again. But once you you've kind of done it, and once you, you know it, it's it's weird. I want to be shocked like by seeing it the first time. You know? I was kind of shocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rosario. I, I haven't seen it in a real. I haven't. I stopped. I used to watch it every year, and then I stopped, <laughs> just because it was my first film, and it was like such a startling thing to watch it that next year. And I wasn't friends with everybody, so I didn't have that connection. I was really stay at home, and you know, Harold lived down the block, and he used to date my best friends. Uh, his brother used to date my best friend Ron, who's here, and you know, it was. Uh, but it was still really far away from me. So when I came back, it was still really revelatory. So I'd watch it every year, and kind of like. Because I started acting after that, and it was like, okay, like let me just kind of see. This is a really great film, and every experience I had would bring me back to that how special it was. But then when Harold died, and when Justin had killed himself, and Harold died, I, I stopped watching it. I couldn't watch it, so I haven't seen it in a really, really, really long time. And to see them and to see all of it is, uh, it's and pretty. I think Justin is so dynamic in it. He's I mean, so. He's, he's such, such a crush real on and him. Most alive, I think <laughs> of all the performances. He was brilliant. He really. So does Harold, like they just really, I'm, I especially think about Harold a lot because I think he's, he was so talented and so free and just such a remarkable being. And you know, he's, you know, he bet me a box of donuts on the L train where we're gonna get married. I'm still mad at him about that. Yeah, um, you have to remember that like they, they were all just kids at that park. That really was just it. and weird things like this, but... I would get a lot of tearful hugs on the street. Yeah, you just, <laughs> you know. Um, but I get quoted my lines a lot, which is a bit awkward depending on where you are. I'm like, we're in Disneyland. I get a lot. What I find Please, is lower you know, your really voice. disturbing. People are like, don't worry, Jenny, it's me, Casper. <laughs> so the, the one thing I think... <clears throat> The one thing I noticed that is a little... Just because it was my first film and it was like such a startling thing to watch it that next year and I wasn't friends with everybody so I didn't have that connection. I was really stay at home and you know, Harold lived down the block and he used to date my best friends. Uh, his brother used to date my best friend Ron who's here and you know, it was, uh, but it was still really far away from me. So when I came back, it was still really revelatory. So I'd watch it every year and kind of like, because I started acting after that and it was like, okay, like, let me just kind of see, this is a really great film and every experience I had. A little weird is uh, how many kids I run into to this day that say, oh, that's the movie I moved to New York because of. <laughs> and you're like, well, you know, it's kind of like a cautionary tale. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's interesting. Like, I mean, kids still talk about, like, you know, these are young kids who have their own scenes and, and maybe Style-wise or other ways, it, it seems dated, but it still resonates with, with teenagers somehow. And like, uh, it's, it's...
It's weird in New York, it felt like everybody you knew was in the film. So it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, you weren't talking to too many people outside of that world, even after the film. You know, we kind of all went back to doing just what we were doing before it. And so, um, you know, it's, it's only until later that you kind of notice, like I would get a lot of, uh, I went back to work in a skateboard shop and I would get a lot of like threatening calls it's to me it's strange that it still it still holds up 20 years later I think that's that's great um, but uh, I wish I could see it with fresh eyes again but once you you've kind of done it and once you, you know it, it's it's weird. I want to be shocked like by seeing it the first time you know? I was kind of shocked yeah. 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 Rosaria. I, I haven't seen it in a real. I haven't. I stopped. I used to watch it every year, and then I stopped. <laughs>